I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you alright? Okay, I'll take that as a no. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. I'm alone. Everyone I know is gone. It's just me now. I'm sorry to hear that. I just lost a sister. We've all lost folks. Well, I'm Luke. And this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- OH SHIT! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No! It was a dog! I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No! It really was a dog. Please, believe me. Look, I want to, kid. But I gotta believe my own two eyes first, and I didn't see no dog around. No, it was from before. Hmm. All right. Let's see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now what, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. He, he ran off. So a dog runs up, bites you, and then runs off. Just some asshole dog in the forest. It wanted my food. What, did you expect it to stick around? I don't know. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. What do you think? All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. What? Hey, that's not even an answer. She doesn't like someone calling her a liar. I wouldn't like it either. I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at. All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Oh, shit. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. Hey! <laughs> You're 
lucky my nephew can't shoot for shit. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? She tried to run, man. Well, Nick, can you really fucking blame her? We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> Uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. You're going to have a kid soon, right? But what if I was your daughter? That's the point, kid. You ain't. I ain't falling for that shit, little girl. If it was up to me, you'd be dead already. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I don't mean to cause any trouble. I just wanted to find help. But if you let me go, I promise you'll never see me again. And where exactly would you go? I can take care of myself. Clearly. Don't look to me, girl. I want nothing to do with you. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. Well, we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry.
Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. stitches. makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me this shit. I need some air. What the hell are you doing? I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Yeah, but you're gonna get me in trouble. Please, I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. I can tell that you're nice. I ain't nice. Yes, you are. Don't you do that. I see what you're doing. I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. We got a baby on the way. Rebecca's all emotional. Got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm already in trouble. Just talk to you. No one else will help me. For good reason. I'm just a little girl. I'm screwed if anyone finds out I did this. You understand? Yes. What do you need? The bu The cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with, and a needle and thread could help too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get, I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. I found you some bandages. And I, uh... I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. Thank you. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go.
already made my decision. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she's out here alone. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look too good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would do the same. You really think Carver would come after us? You think he wouldn't? He's not exactly the type. There's nothing we can do about it now. Let him come. I really don't give a damn. Alvin! What? I don't! Hey man, you got her back here, not me. You knew she was What were we supposed to do? Not leave her out there to die? Better her than us. You'd have done the same. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, well, firing your rifle was, huh? Next time we'll just put up a neon sign saying some clear curse welcome. Where are you going, huh? I want to get my sweater. We'll be done in a minute. You go out of nowhere, surrounded by lurkers, about to get eaten alive, and you're telling us it was a dog? Yeah, yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but look, for whatever reason, I think she's telling the truth. Look, there's no point in arguing about it now. She's in the shed, she's not gonna hurt anyone. Just see what's what in the morning. But Carlos said she could die if she doesn't get her arm treated. Assuming she doesn't turn. Is that true? The girl could really die. If the infection spreads, anything's possible. It could definitely get a whole lot worse for her. Don't we have penicillin? Or something that could, you know, stop the infection from spreading? She's telling the truth and she doesn't turn. Then what happens? We apologize for being assholes and then we help fix her. She arm. can't stay with us. We barely have enough supplies for ourselves. We've got more fish in the traps than we could ever. Yeah, eat. but she's seen us. She knows we're here. What? Are you scared of a little girl? A little girl is not the problem. It's who she might tell. We gotta keep an eye on her. If she doesn't turn, which she probably will. I gotta take a leap. Hold on. We're almost done. My point is, if a little girl can find her way here, then almost anyone can. Hey, you saw those lurkers, right? That's more than we've seen in a while. Yeah, it seems like it's not as safe as it was. At least not like when we found this place. Maybe it's time to move on. We can't just keep running. At some point, we've got to settle down. We should, and we will. But can we find somewhere safe? I don't know. You've seen what it's like out there. I was just starting to like this place. Look, we've had a good run here, but if it's time to move on, then I got no problem. Yeah. No more, no more city. We all agreed on that, right? Too many damn lurkers. We're not going back the way we came. That's for damn sure. We can probably find somewhere better. We just need to look. Wherever we go, we can't get too attached. We'll be fine, as long as we keep things fluid. Take her with you. Are we almost done here? I want to make sure Sarah's ready for bed. Wait a second. There's something else I want to talk about.
be anywhere I want. Go away and don't tell anyone or else. Get it? I... Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I won't say anything. I'm sorry. I just thought maybe we could be friends. Please don't tell my dad I talked to you. Why? What will he do? Get mad at him. What does he do when he gets mad? He gets angry, and he says he's disappointed in me. And then he just loves me and wants me to be safe. That's it? Nothing else? Yeah. Then it's the worst. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. You want to see it? Um, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. I know, right? You have to bandage it like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. Something to clean it with. And I need a needle and thread to sew it up. Do you know where those things are? My dad has some stuff for cleaning with the supplies. What kind of birds? I don't know if he has stuff for sewing them. Really? Seems like he would. We don't have much. He's still trying to restock since we moved. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca's okay, but she's old. And that's it. We're not the same age. What? We're not the same age. You said we were. We're not. How old are you? I'm 15. I'm younger. A lot. You don't seem like it. That's just how it is. So we can be friends then. Thanks, Sarah. 